Who would have spoken of Chapek saying that six years after starting in the humble floor 2.2 of Basel World, we would, we would be in, in Watches and Wonders in 2022, you know? And on top of that, what we are realizing that Forest Watches and Wonders is giving us what we are looking for, meeting new people that we are not accessing to before. But what we were not expecting is that it would generate so much interest. That, the, that everyone wants also to uh, put their hands on, on our models, to try them, to uh, discover them, to get to know better the brand and the team who is behind the, the company. Watches and Wonders was great beyond our expectations. So it was very hard to, to, to prepare. It's a very complex event, but the results were amazing, awesome. So we sold uh, more than what we had as an objective. The press coverage was great and extended. A lot of people talked about our Osmium dial, for instance, that was also sold out. So um, a super event. So Watches and Wonders 2022 was the continuation of the, of the Antarctic success. We've seen a lot of interest from, from people beyond what we expected. We've seen an increase of sales, an increase of demand, an increase of interest right at the beginning of 2022 when we released the glacier blue new dial color that was absolutely insane in february uh, it was incredible we've been we've been working very hard to sell few watches to collectors for the last the past few years and and suddenly you you get this incredible interest and everybody wants it and and also you but it's also it's very challenging in a certain way because you have to make sometimes tough decision you have to start to say no to, 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 to people, which never happened before. And so it's, it's tough as well. It's challenging and it's tough. We have to reinvent a little bit the way we think uh, our uh, commercial approach as well, uh, because this is, I mean, we want to absolutely to avoid as much as possible frustration, disappointment. I mean, Chapek is a community. Is a community uh, focused on watches. I mean, uh, we are all watch lovers here, and and this is this is tremendously important when you when you when you want to you, you want to exchange and and make everybody is happy because uh, that's that has been the aim of Chapek since the beginning. I mean, uh, right at the beginning we were doing a lot of bespoke. Uh, this is this is something important because again it's proximity. People can say, listen, I would love to have this, can you do it? And usually we would say yes. And now again, uh, gosh, we have too many orders, we don't have the time, we're still very small, we have to expand. So it's already pretty complicated, complicated in terms of production because of the uh, world war shortenings, because of, of delays from our partners all the time. So we have to put limits and it's, it's, this is yeah, a little bit more complicated, but at the end, I'm sure we'll find a way to remain uh, a people's watch company. We didn't want it to announce the closing of the book during Watches and Wonder. We felt we should not give contradictory messages. We are here to meet people, to try to answer their requests. Let's keep that as an objective. And then a, few, a couple of days later, we announced that we are closing our books. Of course, then people could have a big stress thinking, I missed it. Now that I missed it, I want it. When can I get it? And also to release the pressure. So we announced that we are going to reopen the books in Watches and Wonders 2023. So it's a time frame of one year, enough for us to organize ourselves, ramp up the production, get the capability to go for higher numbers. And then not too long also for people so that they, they don't uh, forget us, you know. We want to stay in their top of mind. Somehow why we are closing the, the books, it's for the people. It's for the persons that have ordered the watch and are waiting for the watch. And we know the wait will be long, for sure maybe two years, maybe more. But what I want to say to each of these watch lovers is that they are at the center of our everyday life. We think about each of them because every of our watches is made by one watchmaker. And behind the watchmaker is a client. 
It's always one watch, one watchmaker, one watch lover. That's the way we work. And this is why we don't necessarily speak and, and have the chance to each of them to write to them or to speak individually. But we do have the chance to think about them individually and be careful about each of the watches that we are making right now. There is a way, a certain path to follow, to reduce that weight. This is what we are doing now. And it's very important to be patient so that the, the nice plant that we have put in the ground is starting to grow and bloom. But before that, it's always very long. We know that. That's the spring. This is the spring of Chapek. Please be patient. It's going to come to the summer. The best possible thing is to say the truth in any occasions. So if you're facing uh, uh, some issues, uh, you, you better be transparent and explain the situation, fix it uh, together and try to compensate somehow if, you're, if you create a damage or to uh, serve the client in another, in another way. But um, the idea is to be zero push it, if I can say. So to be as uh, fully transparent and open uh, and in, into communications. The interesting thing in the, in the Swiss way to work is that you do things one by one. And when you use a stopwatch to actually see what is the most efficient and, and productive way to work, is actually to do things one by one as a watchmaker does. So our plan was very clear. Step number one was to open a new manufacturer. We needed more space to organize properly the things. The second step was to resolve the supply chain issues. And the third one is to increase the size of the team, but step by step always, so that we can get people in, make them understand the way we work, make them understand our spirit, and make them join that spirit and feel good with working in that environment. A watch is a world in itself. And the way you're gonna play with the different components is going to, to change the way each component plays a role. On veut l'amener le plus loin possible. C'est pas juste un simple mouvement qu'on met sur le marché, on veut qu'il soit vraiment performant. 